What's going on? It's your boy Connor Conflict, and today we're going to discuss the signing we've all been waiting for ever since free agency opened up last week. Dolphins signed Teron Armstead to a five-year, $75 million deal, which is an absolute bargain. I mean, I was expecting we'd have to pay the guy like around north of $20 million a year, and we got him for 15. There's incentives involved as well, but that price for one of the best offensive linemen in all of football is, is phenomenal. I'm very happy. Um, I, I got nervous because we had him in for the visit. He left, and I wasn't too worried, but as the day went on, I, I the, the worry increased. But they got it done. We got our top offensive lineman. Um, like I said, it's a move all the Dolphins fans agree, uh, in, in unison wanted, which is rare, right? Um, obviously, we all know Armstead's elite offensive lineman. He does have some concerns, and we'll get into that later in the video, but let's talk about the positives. Obviously, one of the best linemen in all of football. Uh, he's good not only uh, in pass protection, but he's also a menace in the run game. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the, uh, the clip of Good Morning Football where Sean O'Hara breaks down some of his film, and he's literally wiping out two to three guys in, this, in, the, in the individual play. Um, Three-time Pro Bowler, second-team All-Pro throughout his career. Um, I'm. It just. It's nice because we. Not only does he provide his individual skill set, but he also is going to help improve the guys around him because there's we have young guys in Lee and Mike and Berg and Austin Jackson who have not done well. But you have a scheme that's going to be more beneficial to them first and foremost, and then you have one of the best in the league to learn under and learn his process and how he goes about doing things. It's not just a move that upgrades left tackle, it's a move that upgrades all five members of the line. So it's it's a great deal. And like I said, five years, $75 million is a, a bargain. Like I said, I was expecting this to be like a three year, like $66 million kind of deal. So to be able to get them for 15 a year is makes it all, all the better because I was gonna go on and complain about how we didn't sign Lyle Collins for 10 mil a year. Because I thought that was a bargain, but then we go ahead and get, and get the guy for uh, 75 over 5. So, uh, great deal. So, let's break down some of the numbers. His past production stats are a huge upgrade. So, over the past three seasons, um, I got to go by that. Uh, 1,454 pass blocking snaps. He allowed 55 pressures and 5 sacks. So, that's one pressure for every 26.4 snaps and one sack allowed for every 290 snaps. So let's just compare that to the great Liam Eikenberg, who granted it was a rookie this past season, and I think he actually might end up being a starting lineman for us, but Liam Eikenberg allowed a pressure once every 11.35 snaps compared to Armstead 26.4, so that's over double, and one sack for every 78 snaps, which is damn near four, four times the amount of Armstead. Now, granted, we're, we're comparing a rookie to one of the best linemen in the league, but that just kind of goes to show the kind of level of player we're getting. Like, this guy is, when he's healthy, he's a top three left tackle in the league. Um, like I said, he's, he's a menace in the run game, as we've broken down. Uh, he's a, one of the most athletic linemen in the league. Um, I'm pretty sure he still has the combine record for 40 time where he ran a 4.71 which is just ridiculous for a left tackle. Um, and he obviously he fits his scheme. We wouldn't have been put pursuing him this hard. Um, and, and the biggest concern for me too is because we put all our eggs on, in the Armstead basket because all the other top tackle signed. So if we were not able to land Armstead, this free agency would have been a big dud because the replacement for our Armstead signing is a huge drop down. So to be able to land him is absolutely huge. So what are my concerns? Because obviously... Um, there are some concerns to him. So we're paying top money for a left tackle, not a blind side, because two is a uh, lefty. But this, I, I wrote this up prior to signing him because I had work yesterday and I was scared he was going to sign yesterday. So I'd have to make this video uh, as soon as I got home. Honestly, I'm even if he's not blind side, I'm fine paying 15 million for a left tackle. I was like I said, I was expecting this to be 20 to 22 million dollars per year. Um, but the biggest concern is obviously his injury history. I don't think he's really played an entire season in his entire career. He's always out with some kind of injuries. He's 
um, coming off a knee injury, which he's uh, got, I think, surgery in January, and he's uh, in the rehab process. He should obviously be ready for camp, um, but there's, there's concerns about him being able to stay healthy. So you have someone that he's going to miss some games, but like I said, this kind of goes into the fact that we got to hope that having this top veteran who, granted, he's not, he's not, he's got good leadership qualities beyond him just being a good player. He's been a team captain for the Saints. Um, so if he's able to pass down some knowledge to the younger guys in Austin Jackson and Liam Eikenberg, if this is a great point that uh, Kyle Krabs, Locked on Dolphins, mentions all the time about the arm set signing, he's like, you're okay missing two to four games and having to supplement that with Austin Jackson or Liam Eikenberg if you're getting 12 very high-level games from Armstead. Now, obviously, we don't want to miss games, but like I said, I think the, just just the scheme, these guys are going to get better just because it's way easier. If you're able to run the football, it makes pa- passing the football easier, and that goes to pass blocking as well because the edge rushers aren't just teeing off on you because they're expecting pass every play. But like I said, he's going to be able to spread wisdom to the younger guys. They're going to develop. So even if he is down for two to three games, we should be able to be all right without him. Hopefully he doesn't. But worst case scenario, because the best way to project the injuries is to see the injury history. And obviously it's not great for him. Uh, I think that's probably kind of why we got him for a bargain. So let's project the offensive line. So obviously there might be some more moves that are made, but projections, left tackle, Toronto Armstead, left guard Connor Williams, center. I have written down as Michael Dieter slash rookie. I don't, or it could even be like a, if we get JC Treader this offseason as a A plus plus. Like that would be chef's kiss. Right guard Robert Hunt, right tackle Liam Eikenberg slash AJ slash vet. Like I said, it's hard to project. We don't know. Maybe they move Hunt to tackle. Maybe they keep Hunt at guard. We don't know what they're gonna do there. But that left side of the line is mean we go from liam eichenberg and austin jackson to to teron armstead and connor williams it doesn't get much better than that um let's see so oh yeah so right tackle which is to his blind side is scared to potentially have to rely on liam eichenberg and austin jackson based off what they've shown us but like i said i think the upgrading scheme coaching and the guys in the room, the overall presence of those guys, because we don't, we've never had this kind of talent. I think it benefits them. So I put a grade on this based off of what I was projecting the numbers to be. I had 8.9 out of 10, but hearing those numbers, I'm giving this one a 9.8 out of 10. This is a home run signing, uh, absolutely ecstatic. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down below. I'm sure you guys are just as happy as I am. Um, if you have any the suggestions for future videos please drop them down below we got until now to the draft season to try and plan out some more good content for you guys i appreciate you guys for watching please like and subscribe to help this channel grow and until next time i'll catch y'all